Hey guys, welcome back to my Sonic 3 and Let's Play. And yeah, as you can see, wow, this is loud. As you can see by my, um, welcome back to Sonic 3 Let's Play. I know I haven't touched on this in a while, but mainly because I had to restart, because once again, I did not save all my data, and you can't save data on Sonic 3. And plus, this is on my new computer, but I did work my way back up, and as you can tell by my live count, I did have to restart. And mainly, you can get this much lives if you do want to get this much lives. You can get this much just by grinding out um, perfects on the special stage, which is how I got all these lives. But uh, yeah, we're back in Sandopolis. And we're just going through it. So Sandopolis... I know that a lot of people say that they hate this zone, but to me, it's not the worst. It's definitely other zones that are worse than this one. But to me, this is not just, this is not the worst one. Like, out of the whole Sonic stage, the Sonic games, I would say no. I would say that that goes to Metropolis Zone from Sonic 2. Because it wasn't fast compared to all the other ones. Like, it tried to have fast segments here and there, but it wasn't fast. It wasn't, um... It wasn't fast. It wasn't really fun. And plus, it was three acts. I felt like something out of Mario. It was very treacherous and big and long stage. Just generally wasn't fun. And the boss wasn't that good either. The Metropolis Zone boss, because you don't... Because you didn't have the Insta Shield... In Sonic 3, it just doesn't work. It's kind of like the Ice Cat boss. Like, what are you supposed to do? You just kind of got to get hit and just, like, take it. Or you got to hit him at the pixel-perfect time where he is not, um... You got to hit him at the pixel-perfect time where none of his egg things will, like, hit you. And you can tell, by the way, that Sonic um, 2 would have been modeled when it's um, up where you can hit him. But yeah. But speaking of the Sandopolis Zone boss, Sandopolis Act 1 is. Well, it's not a boss, it's just walking. Wow. My bad. I was gonna say that Sandopolis um, Act 1's boss, I wouldn't even call it a boss, it's just like. It's just like guiding your enemy to their death. Like, because there's no really fight to do any... There's not really any fight to do. You kind of just wait there for him to die. It's a little bit sad, but you know. That's all you pretty much do during it. So, in my opinion... It's not really much of a boss fight. But uh, yeah. Also, one thing I hate is those scorpion enemies. Like, oh my gosh. Every time I try to jump into them, they just freaking hit me and i have no idea how they always do it but they always hit me every time i try to jump into them especially with knuckles like freaking don't hit me there thank you there's something up here i can't even go up there but gosh those, those guys just hit you a lot But anyway, yeah, we're, um, just going through Sandopolis. Oh, we're already at the boss. Too bad I don't have 50 rings so I can go hypersonic, but it's whatever, man. Let's just go ahead and get him out. Get this big bad boy out of here. Come on out and face me, bro. Heard you was big and jacked. I'm cracked. Come here, bro. Oh, <coughs> the way over here. Yeah, it's pretty much just waiting over here, and he's eventually just gonna walk over here and just kill himself. Now he's gonna be jumping where I am. Okay, that's not far enough, but the next hit is gonna kill him, basically. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. Okay. Right. Time to move on to Sandopolis Act 2, which is admittedly one of the harder ones. Compared to Sandopolis Act 1. 
Sanopolis Act 1, if you know where to go, it's a breeze, but Sanopolis Act 2, on the other hand, nah, man. Sanopolis 2 is a bit of a hassle. I'll turn on the lights very dark in there. Uh -huh. I remember on this stage, because it doesn't happen, and what the? It doesn't happen as much now. But I remember on this stage, freaking, um, the ghosts used to just bother you so much. And it was very, very annoying. But yeah. Hey, but at least we're getting past this, so. Um. So yeah, sliding down these sand slides was keep on going and you gotta jump at a specific time right here and yep that's how you do it i remember before i used to get stuck on that section just wondering what to do i had no idea i was just jumping around and i was like what 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 do you do right here and it wasn't until very very later on i found out how to how to how to complete that section what am i doing if you actually do this trick yeah, I'm... There's actually a better way to do this one right here. And it doesn't even require you to take the platform. All you gotta do is just push that. Spin dash right here. And, like, just use tails to get up there. Or if you were Knuckles, you would just climb up there. Pretty dang easy. But anyway. Just continuing on pushing these... This one's gonna lead up here. I heard some people say that they got crushed by this part up here. But if you just stick to the edge and quickly kill this guy before... It... No! Ah! See, those things are freaking hard to kill. Like, they are just super stubborn with dying. My gosh, man. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, but this level, in my opinion, is the best designed level so far. If you ask me. Like, I really like the design of this level. There we go, got him. One of my favorite, um... Design levels because you're like going through a temple. It's exactly like, if you ask me, it's exactly like Aunt Sandopolis Act 1, except for inside. Because what's well, supposed to be and all, but like, it literally feels like just the zone except for inside. There's actually a way where you can get past this section, even with Tails and Knuckles. You can complete it with Tails and Knuckles, um, and Sonic and Tails, but not Sonic alone. You can get, but you can get through the section without even using the sand. But you have to have tails and knuckles. Anyway, but yeah. Uh, actually, I'll just show you right here. So, tails is going to come right here. And instead of doing that, if he would not grab onto the switch. Actually, just lower me onto it. Nice. You can just get through here without even using the freaking thing. Anyway, but we're gonna have Tails come up here. And then I'm freaking going way too fast. And I know that's a good thing in Sonic games, but like here I need to kind of go a little bit slower just to do this. If you were to ask me, however, if Sandopolis is my favorite zone. No, it's not as it's not bad. It's just not my favorite zone. Like there's a lot more zones that are better than Sandopolis. But um this is still a pretty good zone. Uh I don't know if I want to go super cuz I don't want to necessarily like wait, come oh my gosh. He stop. Stop flying so high. Oh my gosh. Glitches, everybody. Mm 
you know what, screw it. I am gonna transform. Plus, we've never seen Hypersonic before, so I'm just gonna show you him. Yeah, he is super fast. Also, Epilepsy Warning, which I probably should have did that at the beginning of the video. Am I gonna, does that mean I'm gonna get flagged or something for that? I don't know. It's our first time joining YouTube. I don't even know how to do cuts in my videos, so. But yeah, Epilepsy Warning. Should have said that before I transformed Supersonic, but hope people found out what hyper not supersonic hypersonic i hope people know what knew what hypersonic was before they freaking did the thing anyway so we're just gonna <sighs> i'm gonna just get that come out here because why not i'm hypersonic i don't necessarily need that checkpoint Considering that this boss is not really gonna like require anything, especially to beat with hypersonic. Wow. Oh, I'm freaking flying at the top. Anyway, that's Sandopolis cleared in just like under, not under, but a little bit over 10 minutes. It's actually 11 minutes into the video. Anyway, um, I'm going to do Lava Reef, and then I'm going to record the next part. Which the next part will be Sky Sanctuary, and, um, yeah, the next part will be Sky Sanctuary and, um, Death Egg. But anyway, we're going to get through this. Lava Reef, okay, I know that most people don't say nothing about this stage, but I love this stage. This stage, especially with Supersonic Lava Reef Act 1 mainly... Act 2 is alright, I guess. It's not as memorable or as fun to run through as Act 1, though. But Lava Reef Zone, Act 1, to run through with Supersonic is just a treat. I don't know, it just goes so fast. It's just such a fun and exhilarating. This is, this is like Supersonic and Hypersonic's, like, um, like, main stage. If you want to have fun with Supersonic and Hypersonic, like, let's say you completed the game... And you're just on level select and you just want to play like certain stages and just have fun. I would 100% recommend um, freaking doing. I would 100% rec recommend Lava Reef Act 1. Like, this is just one of the funnest stages ever. Especially for Supersonic. Like, it's a blast for normal Sonic, but a treat for Supersonic. My gosh, dang. What an amazing stage. Oh, but yeah, I didn't I didn't I mean it untransform, but I don't know. I have a fire shield. If I if I lose the fire shield, then I'll transform. But yeah, Sonic is all powerful now. By the way, um, Sonic is a lot like Dragon Ball Z. And obviously, I know that everyone knows that, but like, this game, when you think about it, the similarities are uncannon. Like, Sonic is obviously Goku, Tails is Krillin. Um, you, I guess you could say that Vector is Yamcha. Espio is Tian Shenhan. Um, Charmy is Chiaotzu, and freaking Piccolo is Knuckles, and Shadow is obviously Vegeta, Rouge is like Bulma or something, except for Bulma is like nice to Goku and stuff, so I guess that's a little bit more weirder. Um, then freaking, yeah, I don't know what Gohan is though, and Cream is like I don't know, somebody else, Cream, no, Cream is like Gohan or something, I don't know, but the, but the similarities between Dragon Ball Z and Sonic the Hedgehog are insanely close together, also, the freaking super forms, like, like, Sonic's super form is, like, so reminiscent of Goku's as well, and if you transform into Super Sonic and Sonic 3, Sonic even has green eyes, like, come on. You cannot tell me that that is not, like, supersonic. Sonic has green eyes. 
just like Supersonic, just like Goku when he went into a super form. Like, come on, the similarities just get pretty unvague from there. Like, the similarities are just uncanny from there. But anyway, um, enough talking about that. Because I think we are now arriving. Big Cyper. You think Hypersonic would make this go faster, but no. Only Tails and Sonic can make it go faster if there's two people on. But I think we are now arriving at um, the boss. Yeah, I think down here. Yeah, 250 rings. Yeah, here's the boss. I don't know if I should let, um, this guy, like, nah. Nah, because I know that sometimes he can crush you. Like, sometimes with Tails, I've had instances in Super Tails where he would, like, actually, like, crush me. Despite me being in Super Sonic. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it don't. So I don't, I don't know, it's very weird. But anyway, Act 1 of Lava Reef done. Also weird purple right there. Is that just me? No, never mind. It's just my camera. Well, anyway, here is Lava Reef Act 2. Okay, Lava Reef Act 2. It's not my favorite. Like, I'll just say that. I'll Like, Lava Reef Act 2, it's cool, but... Honestly, I hate to say it, but it's about on par with Sandopolis. If you ask me, it's like a more colorful version of Sandopolis. And it's interesting because it, it comes right after Sandopolis. Now, I feel like when they were designing Lava Reef Act 2, they were like, okay, Sandopolis. Zone Act 3, basically. Hey, why did I do that? Oh, gosh, forget we can't even go through that. We have to take the platforming up there. Oh, yeah, because Sonic section's up here. Because Knuckles can't make that jump. I want to freaking go up here because I know that there's got to be something up here, though. Like, this is a shortcut or something. Like, I've I seen, like, where the big ring locations are in some of these. And I know this is not going to lead me to a big ring location. But I think it may be, like, a shortcut or something up here. Yeah, I think it's like a shortcut right here. This, I think, is big ring. No, it's just regular rings. Okay, just regular item boxes of rings. I always wonder why they also use an item box for Sonic's power-ups. Like, maybe it's just trying to be original, but, like, why just an item box? Not like a Mario item box, but like, um, like a TV monitor, a TV monitor. Okay, frick. Oh, no, wait, because there's a freaking... Oh, my God, stop. There's a thing right here. No, I, d I can't freaking... No, I think I have... No. Oh, no, no, that's later in the... That's later on the stage. Never mind. I thought there was, like, something missing for a second. But there's a secret button somewhere. And when you hit it, you'll be able to, like... Unlock a secret area for a big ring. Yeah. Okay, I could have sworn on this. Now, this is a big ring right here, right? No. Oh, no, there's a big ring on the other side of here. Yeah. Alright, well. That's good. Now, there's one thing I don't like about um, Lava Reef Zone Act 2 is its boss. Mainly because the platforming, the weird platforming section it makes you do. Now, I want to come down here and get that. I'm just going to use Hypersonic to blast through the rest of the stage. So yeah, 
easy to blast through. Easy to just like. Yeah. You have this section right here. Where Knuckles is going to push us down the stairs. Slot Knuckles. Freaking slide over to the right. So yeah. Anyway, we have missiles destroying these platforms, so we gotta hurry. I've died on this section before, too. Um, if you don't watch your step, you can fall here. And the worst part about it is that you just lose your chance of basically making the boss of the stage incredibly easy. Yep, and I just lost out on it. But hey, at least we have a fire shield which we can get. Because I slipped off that platform at the like very last second. Never mind. I guess we're not getting it then. This boss is just jumping away. Now this right here has to be my least favorite boss. I know like Ice Cap's boss exists. Ice Cap Act 2's. But this one is just... Like, I don't know, there's no direction for it. It's just, like, just jump out the way. Yeah, I definitely prefer a lot of more bosses over this one, but... But, yeah, let's just, um... Go ahead, so... Rocker Robotnik pops up here. And the good thing is that I can just walk on the fire for this one. So I'm not going to worry about the spike balls since I can just walk on here. However, if I do lose this, lose this, then I would have to worry, yes. But for now, I'm just going to kindly just walk, walk like right here. Alright. Also, this boss takes more than 8 hits to kill. This is the first Dr. Robotnik um, mini boss, shall I say? It's not a mini boss, it's like a regular boss, but it's the first one that takes more than eight hits to destroy. At least in Sonic 3. Not counting the final boss. Gosh, Lee, this guy's. This guy takes a lot of hits to kill. Alright, I think. He's got like one more rotation, one or two more rotations of this, and then he's destroyed. Also, tonight I will be doing my Mega Man 3 because I know that people are probably wondering like, Hey, where's Mega Man 3? You're supposed to be doing that. I'm just really hesitating and putting it off because of the Doc Robots. That's mainly the one reason why I'm just hesitating it and putting it off. Like the freaking Doc Robots, man. I have everything. I have to do the Doc Robots. But it has to get done one way or another. And also, because I believe in a fair fight, I'm going to fight Knuckles without Chaos em without chaos Emeralds. Speaking of that, I should have not spoiled that, because we're actually going on to fight Knuckles right now. I'm just getting some rings and stuff. Let's put a fight, 30. No, I'm not going to use any freaking... I'm not gonna frickin' um, cheat or anything and use supersonic. Nope. This is a cold blooded fight between me and Knuckles. So, yeah, also here is Knuckles. Um, he's actually pretty easy to defeat for a late game boss. Uh, for some reason, when he does this flying attack, you have to hit him from under. Because if not, for some reason, his fists do do damage. But as I say that, the boss is over. So yeah, rest in peace, Knuckles. I'm saying him, though. Alright, there he goes. It's attacking him, and... Here we go, we're gonna deal some damage, too. Yeah, how you like that, Robotnik? No, because I have Mega Man to do, I think I may just film my Sonic 3 
thing tomorrow. I mean, I think I'll just film some more Sonic 3 tomorrow. Because tonight I do Mega Man 3. More Mega Man 3. But he's going to show us the way to the next episode. So, anyway, yeah. Let's see where we're going next episode. Looks like next episode we're going in this teleporter. To Sky Sanctuary Zone. Nice zone. Anyway... However, not right now. I'm going to end this video off right here. Oh, it's a little bit dark. Wow, it is dark. I'm going to end this video off right here. This is where we'll be going next episode. So, no need to worry about that. But, uh, yeah. Um, and we got freaking Sonic and Knuckles and Tails. And we're going to be going towards Sky Sanctuary next episode and doing Death Egg. But, yeah, that's basically it for this video. Um... Well, if you liked it, consider leaving a like, new outro that I'm doing, and subscribing to the channel, and hey, if you want to, check out my other videos. But anyway, 